My name is Chris Hillier, President and CEO of New York Blood Center. On behalf of New York Blood Center, its Board of Trustees, and its National Cord Blood Program, housed in the Howard P. Milstein Cord Blood Center, I welcome you to our evening reception in the Milstein family Ocean Hall of Life. Indeed, our celebration is about life, and specifically the many lives that have been saved with more than 20 years worth of work and the provision of cord blood products to patients worldwide, culminating in Hemacord, the FDA licensed and nation's first hematopoietic stem cell product for cellular therapy and transplantation. Hemacord is truly an extraordinary achievement. Before introducing our host and New York Blood Center's chairman of the board, Howard Milstein, I would like to introduce Jessica Lappin, city council member representing the Upper East Side and Roosevelt Island, to read a statement. Glad you're here. <laughs> From New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Uh, I'm Jessica Lappin, and it's my great honor and privilege to represent the Blood Center in the New York City Council, uh, also a friend of the Milsteins, and uh, we're so lucky to have you in New York and doing all the great work that you do. I do have tonight a lovely letter from the mayor that I wanted to read. Uh, it is with great pleasure to join you and everyone at the New York Blood Center in celebrated Team Accord tonight. You have been such tremendous supporters of the New York Blood Center, and the breakthrough that Hemacord represents is a testament to your family's long-standing commitment to giving back and building a better world. The public national cord blood program especially has made New York an international leader in collecting and providing cord blood for transplant patients of all backgrounds, as well as in cord blood research. And together, we look forward to the even greater innovations that stem cells and cord blood will help scientists achieve in the years ahead. On behalf of a grateful city, thank you for your dedication to the New York Blood Center's life-saving mission. Please accept my best wishes for a wonderful evening, a productive second Milstein Symposium tomorrow, and continued success, Mayor Michael R. Bloomberg. Thank you. I've worked with Howard for almost three years and have benefited enormously firsthand from his extraordinary leadership and vision and seen his personal involvement, his steady hand on the tiller, as well as his hand on the throttle and occasionally on the brakes of all the organizations he runs. Known internationally for his venture philanthropy, Howard is a very rare individual, combining a unique blend of giving, vision, and the ability to execute often rapidly while steadfastly looking towards the next century and identifying people of the highest caliber. Howard's philanthropy is well known to all of us, as is that of his family before him. Indeed, this hall. In medicine, science, communities near and far in the arts are just several of his seven, seven most intensive foci. It is with great respect, admiration, and thanks that I introduce to you now our host, our partner at the New York Blood Center, and our steadfast leader and chairman of the Board of Trustees, Howard Milstein. Howard. Well, it's a real thrill to be here this evening with so many friends and family. In fact, uh, it appears this has become uh, somewhat of a family affair. I met for the first time uh, Dr. Hillier's parents and his daughter, who I think I met before. And of course, uh, my own family is here uh, in strength. Uh, Irma Milstein, my mother, is here and it was... It was her commitment to the children of the city of New York, along with my father, that first uh, led to the Milstein Hall of uh, Large Mammals. I'm wearing a dinosaur tie today. I'll get to that later. Uh, and here, the, uh, the Milstein Hall of Ocean Life. And my mother has served as a trustee of the Museum of Natural History 
for uh, several decades, I think is now a life trustee, but she still has a special place in her heart and uh, the entire Milstein family does for the museum. But the family that we're here to celebrate this evening is the Cord Blood family. And the patriarch of that family is Dr. Pablo Rubenstein. Now Pablo, he's the handsome fellow next to me over here, <laughs> for those who don't know, uh, has had an extraordinary career. His research saves lives every day, everywhere on this planet. And it is his cord blood family that he started in 1992 that has made these tremendous strides that we celebrate tonight. In fact, uh, the issue that cord blood uh, was initially designed to deal with is the fact that every year in the United States, some 14,000 people are diagnosed with a disease that can only be treated, or prior to cord blood, could only be treated with a perfect bone marrow match. So I mentioned uh, the tie I have with the dinosaurs on it, and we are here celebrating the first FDA licensure of a uh, stem cell therapy. This is no small achievement and was only accomplished through tremendous persistence, uh, tremendous knowledge, uh, and tremendous fortitude by Pablo's entire family, and I consider myself a, a small part of this. But like the dinosaur age, we have progressed since then. And what we're doing today in cord blood is just the beginning. And the doctors and scientists who will present at tomorrow's symposium will talk about naive T cells that can be a solution for multiple sclerosis. They can be a solution for other autoimmune diseases. Uh, there are ways to apply these stem cells to treat diabetes. And all these things lay on the horizon. So it's my pleasure and privilege to have been associated with Dr. Pablo Rubenstein. That's a photo of uh, the event where I presented Pablo with his Lifetime Achievement Award for his more than, now more than 40 years of service to the New York Blood Center. Being a person in the private sector, I have followed in my mother's and my father's and my grandparents' tradition of finding individuals of the highest integrity and excellence in the medical field. And some of my friends from other institutions are here tonight as well. But it's been exactly what the doctor ordered, so to speak, to have the opportunity to support Dr. Rubenstein, the efforts of the cord blood program. And this has been uh, something I've personally been involved with for uh, the 20 years that it's been going on. Um, we are celebrating the National Cord Blood Program uh, in this occasion, in this wonderful hall, and with these uh, friends and supporters and uh, people of the highest interest to us and for us. Uh, we are also celebrating the FDA licensure, as uh, Howard said, named Hemacord. Please imagine it, a therapeutic option that in 20 years has changed the practice of medicine. Uh, there was a group formed to find a way to establish these reservoirs of uh, cells so that they would be useful when needed. And it was during that period that it occurred to me that just to store them with a very low probability of being needed for transplantation 
uh, would be a failure in a sense, a failure to our patients who need these stem cells and cannot get them. And so uh, eventually my own path became that of constructive, uh, constructing an effective cord blood bank. It is a conjunction of these uh, wonderful people and support with the um, personal participation of our chairman, Mr. Howard Milstein, who created the Howard P. Milstein Court Blood Center and thereby produced a dramatic reinforcement of the program. And under the direction of our president and CEO, Dr. Christopher Hillier, that it was possible to achieve the licensure. Omission of any of these factors would have uh, been extremely difficult to overcome. With that, we close our presentation formally this evening. Please enjoy the venue, the company, and congratulate Howard and Pablo. Thank you.